Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you how the data, the NAV data, and the CA code data is combined. Notice that the CA code data runs at 1.023 megahertz, which means a million twenty-three thousand hertz. That means we have a million twenty-three thousand bits, and actually, we don't call them bits in the CA code. We call them chips because they really don't contain any data. They're just an identifying code that comes across with the signal. We then add to that the NAV data. The NAV data runs at 50 Hz, which means that for every one bit on the NAV data, we have a total of 20,400 chips of the PRN code in the CA code. It's not data, it's a code that comes across that lets the receiver know which satellite they're receiving the data from. Notice that if the NAV data runs at 50 Hz, and I believe I have an error here that shouldn't say 2 milliseconds, it should say 20 milliseconds, huh, that's better. So notice that if this runs at 50 hertz, then we get 50 of these bits per second on the NAV data, which means that each bit takes a period of 20 milliseconds. 20 milliseconds, that means we have 20 CA code, or what we call PRN codes, during that time, because each PRN code requires one millisecond, one PRN code per millisecond. Since each PRN code contains 1,023 chips, we multiply 20 times 1,023, and we get the 20,460 chips within the PRN code that then gets added to the navigation data. Now, the technique that is used, it's called the modulo 2 add, which means that if the nav data is low, we just take the PRN, PRN code as is, and when the nav data is high, essentially it takes the PRN code and flips it over. So this is exactly the same as the existing PRN code. Here it's completely flipped. Here it's exactly the same code and so forth. And that is how the two codes get added together. Now later on we will learn how the receiver knows that this was flipped data because within the words of the navigation message, there will be a certain set of data there that will tell them that the data was flipped. And we'll get into the details later. Here we're just trying to illustrate how the CA code and how the navigation data gets added together so that it can then be added to the carrier signal and we'll show you how that's done on the next video.